Hi everyone, Anya and I are here again today, hoping that you're having a good day. And if you aren't, it's okay. Not every day is a great day. But Anya and I will give you a hug. See, we'll give you a hug. There you go. Sometimes you just need a hug. Today we're going to start with some songs that we already know. So let's sing Pitter Patter. Pitter Patter, Pitter Patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter on my window pane. Now sing it again, but softly. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter on my window pane. Now one more time, loudly, but not yelling. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter on my window pane. Very nice. Let's move on to No More Pie. I want to challenge you if you've been singing this song for me with me for a few weeks. I bet that you could be the leader and have your family members echo you. So I'll be the leader now, but try it when we're not together. Oh my. No more pie. Pie's too sweet. I want a piece of meat. Meat's too red. I want a piece of bread. Bread's too brown. I think I'll go to town. Town's too far. I think I'll take the car. Car won't go. I balance up my toe. Toe gives me pain. I think I'll take the train. Train had a wreck. I fell and hurt my neck. Oh my. No more pie. There we go. All right. Very nice. Now, this next one has some actions, but I'm going to teach those to you next time. So, it's another echo song. So, echo back to me. Oh, my aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. Oh, my aunt came back from old Japan, she brought with her a waving fan. Oh, my aunt came back from old Algiers, she brought with her a pair of shears. Oh, my aunt came back from Guadeloupe. She brought with her a hula hoop. Oh, my aunt came back from the county fair. She brought with her a rocking chair. Oh, my aunt came back from the city zoo. She brought with her a nut like you. Very nice. Next time I'll teach you the actions with that. They're very silly, so it's easier to sing the song first. Now, today we are going to go on a trip to the Arctic. Last time we flew over the ocean and we went way down to the tip of Africa to the country of South Africa. Today we are going to fly up north um, up into the Arctic Circle where it is colder than here. I don't know about you, but right now it's been pretty hot in Wisconsin. So we are going to fly, fly off somewhere cooler. And I'm going to put this little Yahoo down so that I can show you the book. So, this little girl is from the book. See, she's got her little doll. So, my book is Mama, Do You Love Me? And it's by a Wisconsin author, Barbara, I'm not sure if it's Josie or Juice, and it's illustrated by Barbara Lavelle. 
And you're going to see some animals in here that you might recognize, but you might also see some animals that you don't. And we can talk about them at the end. I'm going to set her down so that she can see the book. But she's, she's not going to fall over. Oh, Lord, she's going to fall over. There she is. Okay. Mama, do you love me? Mama, do you love me? Yes, I do, dear one. How much? I love you more than the raven loves his treasure. I love you more than the dog loves his tail and more than the whale loves his spout. How long? I'll love you into the umiak flies into the darkness till the stars turn to fish in the sky and the puffin howls at the moon. Mama, what if I carried our eggs, our ptarmigan eggs, and I tried to be careful and I tried to walk slowly, but I fell and the eggs broke? Then I would be sorry, but still, I would love you. What if I put salmon in your parka, ermine in your mittens, and lemmings in your mucklucks? then I would be angry. What if I threw water on our lamp? Then, dear one, I would be very angry. But still, I would love you. What if I ran away? Then I would be worried. What if I stayed away and sang with the wolves and slept in a cave? Then, dear one, I would be very sad, but still, I would love you. What if I turned into a musk ox? Then I would be surprised. What if I turned into a walrus? Then I would be surprised and a little scared. What if I turned into a polar bear and I was the meanest bear you ever saw and I had sharp, shiny teeth and I chased you into your tent and you cried? Then I would be very surprised and very scared. But still, inside the bear, you would be you and I would love you. I will love you forever and for always because you are my dear one. Now, some of the animals that we saw in there are animals that don't live here in Wisconsin. In fact, some of these animals, even if you went to the zoo in Milwaukee, you wouldn't be able to see. For example, a walrus. I can't think of any place in Wisconsin that has a walrus or a musk ox with its cool hair. I don't think we have any of those here. We do have a polar bear at the Milwaukee County Zoo. She is a very old bear and her name is Snow Lily. And she likes to swim around and lay in the sun. And if you're able to go to the zoo, if you don't see her, it's because on really hot days, she actually can go inside and sit in the air conditioning because Snow Lily is made to live in a very cold environment. So in the winter, she thinks it's great. But in the summer in Wisconsin, it gets a little bit too hot for her. So let's see. Ooh, a whale. Whales are mammals not fish. Their blubber can be used as both food and fuel. The Inuit hunt whale in the summer when the ice has broken enough to move their umiaks through the water. Some whales common to the Arctic region are 
belugas, blue whales, and killer whales. The whale in this book is a bowhead. Let me show you the picture of the bowhead whale. So this is the bowhead whale. There's lots of different kinds of whales, and since they're mammals and they need to breathe air, they come up out of the water and they get air right in that hole in the top of their heads. So that's how they breathe because they go down. They can go, some whales can go down really deep, um, but then they have to come up for air. Last week, I showed you um, a book of baby beluga. Let me see if I can find you a picture. See how there's um, bubbles coming here? So baby and mom do have to go back up to the top to breathe some air. So now I want you to imagine that you are a whale and that you are swimming through the water. How do you think you can move like a whale? Because it's hard to move like a whale on land. And we have arms and legs, and they're built differently. Hmm. You could lay on the floor and make your feet go up and down like a whale tail. You could um, put your arms out to your sides. You could stick up your head like you were coming out of the water to um, get some air and then go back down. So try that, be a whale for a little bit. And you can choose, are you gonna be a beluga whale? Are you gonna be a bowhead whale like the one in the book? Are you going to be a killer whale or an orca? Those are the black and white ones that we see. So go ahead and swim a little. Done swimming? Okay, good. Now I want you to come on land. And I want you to imagine that you are a big polar bear. And you have huge paws. I always think that snow lilies' paws look like they are snowshoes because they're so big. If you want to see snow lily, her camera should be on. If you go to the Milwaukee Zoo website, they have webcams. And you should be able to click on hers and see her and just see even from far away how big her feet are. So I want you to walk around as a big polar bear with your big huge paws. And then I want you to dive in the water because you see a fish and you're hungry. So dive in. Swim around and see if you can get that fish. Keep going. Keep going. Did you get it? Did you get the fish? Oh, good. All right, eat it. All right. Good job. Now, I want you to come back out on the ice because polar bears live on the ice. They live on land, too but they also are very good at living on the ice and they can get out of the water and stuff. It's really cool to see if you ever get to see a polar bear do that. I don't know that I'll ever see a polar bear in the wild, but I can go to the zoo and see snow lily. So today, let's see if I did everything I wanted to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So today what I'm gonna do to end is I'm gonna read you Baby Beluga again. And then next time, I will teach you the actions to my aunt came back. And we'll have to see where we travel next time. Maybe we'll stay here. Maybe we'll travel somewhere else in the world. There's so many places to go visit. So here's Baby Beluga, where it is very cold. Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and sea below and a little white whale on the go. And you might notice that you see some of the same animals in this book as you did in Mama Do You Love Me. Baby Beluga, oh baby Beluga, is the water warm? Is your mama home with you so happy? Way down yonder where the
the dolphins play. Where you, where you dive and splash all day. Waves roll in and waves roll out. Seals. See the water squirting out of your spout. Walrus. Puffin. Walrus. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga, sing your little song, sing for all your friends, we like to hear you. Polar bears and some polar bear cubs. When it's dark and you're home and fed, Curl up snug in your water bed. See the little baby belugas? They have their little fish. Moon is shining and the stars are out. Good night, little whale, good night. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga. With tomorrow's sun, another day's begun, you'll soon be waking. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea, swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and sea below, and a little white whale on the go. Just a little white whale on the go. Anya and I are looking forward to seeing you next week. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay cool. And if you're having a bad day and you need a hug, just ask someone for a hug. And if not, there's no one to give you one. Here's one for you in advance, just in case you need one. Because sometimes you just need a hug. Here you go. Hug, hug, hug. All right. Bye.